Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam, one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your... You ran forward and picked up an M16. Then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path. So you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Use the 
Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting the Soviets. <laughs> Tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Your report says the bunker was down the left path, not the right. This isn't right. Can Bell still hear me? a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed a ladder. Bell, go back and climb the ladder. 
The bunker's that way. Crossing the bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Bell, your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zip line. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now he's running 11. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, though. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right.
Stop fighting me, Bell, and go left. Look out! Stick on me! Turn around, Bell, and take the other path. Bell, you noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Bell, use the ladder to your left. Distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zip line. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. I'm wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around, Bill. What the lab? What the hell is Bill doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, it's allies, slowly consume. Survive another round. Now you're asking me. 
Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Now, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead, next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. Bell, open the door. Tell me about Perseus. What happened in the bunker? Bell, Perseus said something to you. What was it? United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. So fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus want Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. No. We were there. We found you.
The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. Experience that lifelong bond to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. On, Bell. Got a job. Come on. You've got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Lighters, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. Good chance to find who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know. I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our war birds a clean shot. Let's 
take Perseus off the air. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. 
This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the map. The militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 